scalp is too acidic my dear that is a recipe for disaster and we don't want that in this channel do we no we do not <laughs> channel if you are new on this channel please hit that subscribe button if you are turning subscriber you know how we do it over here like share comment you know today I'm going to teach you guys how to use aloe vera gel for hair growth like you guys know aloe vera and shea butter these are like these are my staples and like I said in my other video I use aloe vera a lot even now that I'm locked I still use aloe vera so I'm going to tell you guys the precautions to take when you are using it how to use it the benefits and the things that you should avoid I mean in another way why you should not use it because obviously no matter how good something is it cannot be good for everybody right so keep watching and leave a comment so if you want to use aloe vera right I'll advise that you use this one the natural one so um that's because where is in this one you're in control like you know what is in the plant you know you can see the plant because when you buy those store-bought ones you don't know what they mix it with for preservation and you might just react to something that's why i always advise that if you have the fresh one the plants trust me that's like your very very best option so i advise the natural antioxidant right you need to do a patch test right so a simple way to do a patch test is you want to take the aloe vera plant you cut it then take the that slimy clear liquid inside you apply it to your inner what's this thing ankle abby elbow yeah you apply it um here or another way is to apply it to the back of your ear yes you leave it for 24 hours Abby. no you leave it for like four hours or so if you feel irritated then the probability that is going to irritate your scalp is very high so always make sure you do a patch test right because you there are so many natural remedies out there it doesn't mean that's going to work for everybody i can call me and tell you what i use it doesn't mean that when you use it's going to do the same thing for you so it's always good to take precaution and do the patch test before you hop in and start using something you guys remember i said aloe vera contains 75 active ingredients right aloe vera also contains some iron amino acids protein lectin b12 my favorite b6 you know and some other nice bees vitamin aloe vera is alkaline in nature right and then if you are good with um hair stuff you will know that your your scalp is um your scalp has a ph of about four to five to five point five so when you use products okay when you use um sometimes i use some shampoos and some conditioner they might throw off the ph balance of your scalp and when your ph is not balanced on your scalp okay it breeds a ground for bacteria that's when you start getting all those nyama 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 thing where they did you don't want it right so what aloe vera is going to do aloe vera is going to balance your scalp's ph okay so usually i like to use aloe vera as a max or um as a mist or i just use it like on my scalp because it has that really 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 cooling effect you guys it's like natural ac this magical thing aloe vera does aloe vera helps with what hair loss and hair tightening so if you notice that your hair is becoming tiny you notice like you're, you are losing hair strands you are shedding a lot you want to incorporate aloe vera in your hair um routine because aloe vera has natural b12 in it and you know we know that this vitamin is going to help with what hair loss aloe vera also has folic acid you remember folic acid yes aloe vera also has folic acid which also serves you know to boost your hair growth okay so i very need to um act as a protective coat to your hair strand okay and then feed your hair strand with those healthy nutrients that it needs to thrive so another thing is that aloe vera helps with what cell turnover and that's because aloe vera contains vitamin a and we know that vitamin a helps with what cell turnover and vitamin e also what helps with what hair growth so aloe vera is going to repair dead um, cells on your scalp when you use it okay and this will help with what your faster hair growth aloe vera contains proteolytic enzymes i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well right and this is the uh, this is the ingredient that directly helps to fix your whatever dead cells that you have 
on your scalp you know just like when you do your body exfoliation where you have to do your body scrub and all of that you're moving dead cells right so when you use aloe vera you're doing like that mini detox for your scalp and your hair you're moving those dead cells you're having to heal them you're helping them to you know regenerate faster and um, faster cell turnover which leads to like growth right in natural hair care we are advised to massage our scalp and do you know why because what we are advised to massage our scalp to help with what blood um, circulation in your scalp i know that when blood is circulated in your scalp it's going to what boost your hair growth right but when you use aloe vera aloe vera is going to increase the circulation speed the circulation levels in your scalp right which will now lead to hair growth does it does it make sense does it make sense? It does, right? Yeah, it does. Another great thing is that aloe vera moisturizes your scalp and your hair. Like this one, I don't even have to tell you guys. Because remember that if you have dry skin, you're going to try to put aloe vera on your face. Because you know that aloe vera is going to help what draw in moisture. And it's the same thing that aloe vera does on your uh, face. It's the same thing that aloe vera does when you put it on your hair or on your scalp. And remember that for your hair to thrive, right? Your hair has to have your hair will have a balance of moisture and protein and when you have aloe vera which is going to give you enough moisture because if your hair is dry if your hair is brittle if your hair is really really spongy what's going to happen your hair is going to easily break up if, if, if you are detangling your hair if you are combing your hair and all of that your hair will just snap and break but when you use aloe vera right aloe vera is going to coat your hair you know condition your hair in a nice way that when you are manipulating when you are styling it and all of that hair is not going to easily break off do you know that aloe vera is um anti-inflammatory and it um has this anti-fungi property that means what if you put aloe vera on your hair hmm, if you have dandruff if you have flaky scalp i always advise people with that use aloe vera like try to use these things that are really low budgeted first aloe vera shea butter and all of that so spotlight item today is aloe vera so aloe vera is going to help with what your itchy scalp aloe vera is going to help with flaking aloe vera is going to help with dandruff because you know dandruff is a uh, dandruff is mostly um your your scalp is like really 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 dry or irritated by something but because aloe vera is what has that um natural active ingredient that when you when you put it it's going to um prevent irritation and it's going to help heal irritation on your scalp if you have tender scalp like you if you have really 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 tender scalp trust me i think you should try aloe vera like you will come back smiling remember that what your hair contains keratin right that's the protein makeup of your hair and if your hair and when i said shrinkage is healthy it means that what when you pull on your hair like when you pull your hair and your hair has the ability to snap back that means your hair is not heat damage that means your hair is not damaged because naturally coily hair i mean african hair when i say african hair i mean kinky hair by descent i mean not straight hair has the ability to um has the ability to shrink and stretch so aloe vera is going to help with the elasticity of your hair and if your hair if your hair loses its elasticity that means your hair is damaged so aloe vera acts as a natural hair conditioner it's going to help coat your hair strands you know penetrate your hair cuticles and give it a new trend that it needs so if your hair is naturally if your scalp is naturally oily or dry aloe vera is still the good because aloe vera is going to help with your if you have products build up aloe vera is going to help and if you have like residue and all of that aloe vera is going to help because aloe vera is not going to um leave residue in your hair aloe vera is water soluble when i say water soluble what does it mean it means that when no matter how much aloe vera you have in your hair when you get under your shower and you run it through girl aloe vera is going to run down like aloe vera is going to dissolve and just gently go you don't need any harsh cleanser to get aloe vera gel out of your um, your hair and your scalp sometimes when you style your hair and your hair is like super super frizzy i'm talking about loose natural hair right because with locks frizz is like <laughs> you get used to it baby girl just just get used to it this is your new life now <laughs> so with loose natural hair sometimes when you style your hair your hair just gets really frizzy what you should do you can use aloe vera you can use aloe vera as your styling um ingredient because aloe vera is going to make your hair glossier like with time just going to have that natural soft sheen and also going to make your hair less frizzy right so if you are looking for a natural way to define your coil pattern right you don't want to go for those bad products those stubborn products that might give you um build up and just you know just add your natural hair struggles right we are not adding we are taking away take away 
you are taking away from our natural hair struggles here so you want to try aloe vera right because it's going to help you know it's going to help just define your coils you know you're gonna pop that's the thing okay you guys if you are familiar with my video remember that in my other video i spoke about some things that are going to hinder your natural hair growth i spoke about things that are going to make your natural hair journey longer more frustrating one of these things we cannot control is what environmental factors the sun the wind the dust the dirt depending on where you live my dear baby girl you're gonna be frustrated you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be frustrated you know so aloe vera helps with these environmental factors that we cannot control so when you use aloe vera as your max oh my god oh my god <laughs> you're gonna be impressed like <laughs> that is it i was going to help with the with the uv ray so the thing is that you can either use aloe vera as your hair as your hair max you can use aloe vera in your mist right or you can use aloe vera as a deep conditioner you can also use aloe vera like aloe vera oil cut the aloe vera like i taught you guys avoid that yellow sap that bitter irritating stuff my dear it will do you more harm than good avoid it and then chop off also the back the back of it like the the green stuff this green stuff chop it off so apply it on your hair and okay people always ask me that do they apply to their hair before or after washing their hair i advise you apply aloe vera to your hair after washing your hair because i feel like aloe vera thrives more on clean hair because aloe vera is also going to help to balance your hair's ph so why do you want to apply it before you go and apply shampoo and conditioner that might mess up your hair ph like i don't get i feel like you should apply it on clean hair after you are done with your shampoo if you are locked or if you are loose natural shampoo conditioner then you can use aloe vera as your deep conditioner apply it to your hair cover your hair with a plastic bag shop right nylon um i'm going to do for the good hey guys yeah this is my plastic bag if you're in Ghana, they call it rubber. Yeah, so just find one of these rubbers and then put this in your hair. Cover your hair with a scarf. Or if you if you have that, um, there's this electric hair steamer. I think I have one. I could do a review if people want. You can just also put this in your hair, you know, so that it will penetrate. Especially if you are LP. <laughs> I don't know I'm saying LP. <laughs> I read this story. I was like... <laughs> LP. LP means low porosity, guys. So especially if you have low porosity, you want to add that hair steam if you have it as your, for to help um the aloe vera penetrate deep. If not, you can just cover your hair with the plastic bag, leave it for some time, and then after like 30 to 40 minutes, depending on what you want, you can go rinse it off. That's using aloe vera as your hair max doing a deep conditioner treatment. Then using aloe vera as your hair oil. You want to i'll have to make a video on that after making the hair oil then you can use it as your hot oil treatment you can use it as your scalp oil you can use it to seal in moisture using the loc method or the lco method like i said in my other video on how to moisturize your hair properly when you have low porosity or high porosity hair type so remember i said that you have to apply water then your oil or your cream or water your cream or your oil depending on your pro pro yeah depending on your porosity level right so you want to take um one part aloe vera and then you want to take four parts water that's usually my formula or you can do more you can do more water you can do more aloe vera just you just these things you have to freestyle and know what your hair likes like how does your hair feel when you have like more aloe in it than water how does it feel with more water i remember I remember to avoid hard water i said this thing about high, about high water my dear remember to avoid hard water make sure you're using soft water using distilled water you're using spring water if you can afford it <laughs> or you're just using like really really clean water right so you want to put in your spray bottle then you want to shake it and just use it as your daily mist just mist your hair either in the morning or the evening depending on your routine but um this method what i noticed about it is that after some time you um especially after like a week if you use it more than a week if you use that part for a week that part without putting it in your fridge you might just notice this funky smell and um I, but i feel like even when you mist your hair and it dries the smell goes off or some people like to add just drops of essential oil in their spray bottle so that the smell is like not too bad right that's for that's for the um as your aloe vera mist then then as your aloe vera max on its own i hear a lot of people complain about the smell of aloe vera which is i don't know i find it 
pretty weird because if you think aloe vera smells like have you perceived neem oil have you perceived babo seed oil like this thing smell gross guy like i know some people find shit with that like, oh my god this smells so naughty i have a smell so i don't know yikes but gay i feel like the worst natural thing i've perceived in my whole life is neem oil like gay oh my god i'm not even exaggerating hmm. so i feel like if you can't stand the smell of aloe vera you can just go in with your essential oil which <laughs> i can sell to you obviously I sell, I sell a lot of things. Just, just shoot me, shoot me a message or send me an email, leave a comment, anything. I got you, man. I got you. You guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned something new. I mean, maybe just that fancy proteolytic enzymes. <laughs> Or just you learned how to use aloe vera and how to you know, the precautions to take, you know, doing a patch test. I would love you guys to leave a comment down in the comment section. Have you tried aloe vera? Is aloe vera the goes for you? Like, what's your routine like when you're using aloe vera? Um, do you want aloe vera plants? You know, I'm going to make a list of people I'm gonna, I'm gonna give when my baby gives birth. <laughs> so you guys, make sure you leave a comment, share this video with your friends, and then. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram if you like my content, honestly, man. If you don't like what I post because I'm posting more luck stuff, do not follow me. Like, absolutely do not, 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 not follow me at all. Keep your following. <laughs> but, important thing, like this video, leave a comment, share the video with your friends, your enemies, anybody, anybody that you just meet. Just share the video, just bombard the person with the video. What can go wrong? Nothing. <sighs> Thank you guys for having me on this channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Turn on your post notification, that bell icon. Please, please, please make sure you click on it. And uh, there's this thing that I recently discovered that people think that subscribing is not free. Trust me, subscribing is definitely free. If you click on that subscribe button, if you're in Nigeria, nobody is going to take any money from your bank account. Trust me, it is totally safe. So make sure you click on it, share with your friends, and have an amazing day, you guys. <laughs>